Hi everybody, welcome to the Jaguar Design Studio where the new uh, XJ has just been unveiled. This is a totally new car for Jaguar and a very exciting car as well. I've just sort of been emotionally involved with this. You know, I've got a number of Jags, I've got a couple of 120s, I've got an XKE. So to me, this is a very important mark to me. I, uh, this is a company that I, I think people want to succeed. I certainly want to succeed because I just have an emotional bond with it. Uh, this is the brand new XJ. Although it doesn't look like any previous Jag, there are some styling cues. If you're a real Jag fan, you will see them. Um, I think the rear of the car, especially successful with the tail lights and that rear window treatment, the way it appears to be sort of one piece of solid glass from side to side, which is actually a bit of an optical illusion. 510 horsepower, supercharged car. Um, this embodies everything you know about Jag sedans. Quality ride, fast, good handling car, very, very exciting automobile. And uh, I'm glad they finally got the looks to match the chassis and the handling. Well, here's a quick look at the interior of the car. Uh, it's got a proper clock. I don't like those digital things. I like a proper analog clock. I love these uh, vents. Notice they sort of look aeroplane-y. You know, the, the factory where they built this car built the Spitfires during the war. Maybe, the, maybe that's why it has this sort of airplane look to it. Probably not, but it sounds good. Um, I like the whole flow of this here. Very sensual car. You can get wood if you want, or carbon fiber. Younger guys like carbon fiber, older guys like wood. Um, infinite number of options in terms of wood and trim. But a lot of bright work in here, bright, cheery kind of cabin. You have the two uh, sunroofs, both front and back, keep it pretty airy. Uh, it's a fantastic car, it really is. Really totally new from the ground up, and a proper Jag. The XJ will be available in two wheelbases, a short and a long wheelbase version. Uh, the car is so well styled, I really can't tell the difference. You actually almost have to get up and measure the wheelbase to see which is a short wheelbase car. That's how well proportioned it is. I prefer the short wheelbase car. I think it's a little sportier. But uh, if you're you know, a big guy or carry family or whatever, obviously you might like uh, the long wheelbase. Either way, the car is lighter, faster, and gets better mileage than almost anything else in its class. Certainly better than the BMW or the uh, equal Mercedes-Benz. In fact, I understand this particular car even gets better mileage than the Lexus Hybrid. So uh, that's pretty good. 